China and Ethiopia has been enjoying a benign relations. Standing on the bigger picture of China-Africa relations, how do you see the basis and the potential of this relationship? China-Africa relations. Today, Africa means rising continent, a uh, huge potential. There are many emerging economies. Look the Chinese experience, how China is managed for the last few decades. Strong relations between China and Africa mean this is a practical demonstration and practical South-South cooperation between developing economies. Based on these win-win principles, based on the comprehensive approach with a strategic level engagement, it is high time relations between China and Africa. That really gives another opportunity to influence the whole globe on uh, cooperation mechanism. Like the instruments, the FOCAC mechanism and the Belt and Road initiatives and other mechanisms also instrumental to strengthen this uh, for collective engagement, for political dialogue and for economic cooperations and the like. Then what role do you think China-Ethiopia relations play in the broader China-Africa relations? China-Ethiopia ties as a model. Today in Ethiopia, we are managing huge economy, emerging economy. Look, within this few years, the Ethiopia economy is becoming the third economy in sub-Saharan countries. Look at the future. Still we have that huge potential. A relationship between China and Ethiopia, the tie between the two countries mean you can't confine that bilateral relations. That's beyond the two countries and really a role model and a good showcase for other emerging economies in Africa also. Yes, indeed, we all want to see a more stable, peaceful and more prosperous African continent. Then how do you think Africa can have a bigger say or play a bigger role in global affairs? Peaceful and prosperous society in Africa today is really a very fundamental issue. In this regard, the Africans with huge opportunity, perhaps with different challenges also. So Africans has to focus on development issues, on peace and they have to focus on how to improve governance and malpractices and the like. These are a crucial agenda. Within the global framework, this rising continent has to be more strong, consolidated and has to uh, be strong enough mm. for inclusive development program, deepening democratization process, modernizing the whole societal demands and the like. That is very timely and it's a crucial agenda to all African leaders and development partners.